Jai Shah has said that it was the Rio officials who were at fault for not giving her water at the Olympic run where she also fell unconscious because of dehydration after finishing the race. She has asserted that she is not lying. She also added that she is not powerful enough to fight the government or the sports federation targeting the comments from the AFI which has blamed the athlete and her coach for refusing to use uh, water bottles provided by the Indian officials. Sir, OP Jaisha has made some scathing remarks, you know, about the treatment meted out to her in uh, Rio. So, what do we have to say? Was she, uh, you know, uh, was she denied uh, something that was uh, that should have been there uh, in the marathon event? No, because uh, normally in marathon events, <coughs> except for the uh, personal refreshments, personal drinks. The other, the other things we are not supposed to take uh, take care of. Only personal drinks we are supposed to give her. But they, when when on the previous day before the competition, we asked her coach as well as O.P. Jaisha. They said they there is, they don't want any personal drinks. So at the refreshment desk, uh, <coughs> is it necessary that uh, the uh, officials of the of the NOC uh, should be there, or uh, is it done by the that, volunteers? That is only in case if you have a personal refreshment station and if you have a personal drinks, then you you have you you can have a person there because only we can identify the drinks. It's a very serious thing. The matter must be proper because we are whenever anyone wins metal even bronze. Hmm. It's a matter of pride for the entire country and the government which is basically responsible to look after it because this comes under them. They immediately you know, issue advertisements for crores and crores of rupees. But a water bottle is not being provided to our athletes, which is very wrong. Akshay is joining us on the story. Now, Akshay, let's put this entire story in proper context because what the AFI is saying is that uh, personal energy drinks were not taken uh, by the athlete and her coach. They refused the previous day. And that's why there was nobody from the Indian uh, official side manning the counters because they can only do so if the athlete uh, or her coach gives them permission to have uh, energy drinks on the counter that is the personal energy drinks but at this moment where it's about national prestige where it's about an athlete collapsing at the finishing line shouldn't there be a probe ordered by the indian government also whether indian officials red flagged if real officials fail to provide water to our athlete Devina, if you see, uh, Jisha had a record of 18 during the Beijing Olympics and now it's 89. And one of the reasons that of the, uh, that she has performed poorly is because of dehydration and uh, running without water. And what she was getting is what the Rio officials had provided after every 8 kilometers. And the AFI's the statement now comes as a shocker to Jisha and her uh, family because, you know, in every event, it's generally the organizers or the Indian yes. contingent officials who actually place it there. So, when uh, in a general occasion, when they know that it has to be placed, it is ridiculous for them to make a remark like this. And Jisha is completely shocked because uh, throughout her uh, interviews with the media channels, she's always been maintaining that, you know, it could have been done, but it is not something that she's blaming them at. But what the AFI has done is completely blaming the athlete and, and, and coach. Akshay, and she says that I can't difficult. fight the system. This, this also hints at the pressure under which she is and she's speaking out to the media but she's under tremendous pressure because Jaisha has said that she can't uh, fight the system, she can't fight the government. It's the apathy uh, for an athlete uh, that needs to be highlighted at this stage and systems that need to be changed to ensure that such incidents are not repeated. Thanks for joining us uh, on this story.